Drake tracks. We're headed the right way. Inasmuch as hurtling headlong into a ravenous beast maw could be considered the right way. Whatever's making these footprints, it knocked over those trees like they were twigs. Be careful. I am always careful. Ha! Oh, bloody hell, you're serious. Olga! We can't get through with that bastard trying to bludgeon us! Then we must get closer! Watch out! Bloody thing can't be hard! Something must be casting a spell on it! I'll be damned. That was a joke, guys. Are you certain? I thought it was funny. 
Let's go investigate, shall we? Bloody Odin. We could likely reach the other side of this canyon if there was still water running through it. Another crystal for the pond. Dead end. Where to now? Bring the river back. I wonder what's in there.
if this will take us to the dam. Look, another one of those day-night altars. Probably need to use it, I'm guessing. The thought of the creatures here dying of thirst, it just, it makes me mad. Harness that, but do not let it control you. More say that. Another painful growth removed from these lands, eh? Let's say their camp to worry about. What's it say, brother? Shouldn't there be a way inside? Another Drake. It'll eat its way through everything here. Let's track it down. Is that a Noka song? Whoa. Using the crank wheel will help. Ah, there's still a blockage further up there. How come? Yes, 
about to bury the hatchet with an old friend. <clears throat> but something terrible happened. I'm afraid that terrible thing was your demise, my friend. I know there was more. Three parts. I could see all three. Please, help me make amends with my friend. Help me remember. I've got a good feeling about this guy. I think he knows something about Mother. Or not. Have some faith, brother. Answers could be closer than you think. <sighs> ah, there's still a blockage further up there. Surely that's unjammed the wheel. I think we can go across now. That's for the Drecky feed. Let's get ready. Won't be much time for fussing once the fighting starts.
better yourselves. I got you. Another one. Another one. I'm unblocked, the voracious Drekkie dead. I'd say this jungle is well on its way back to its original glory. I'd say we put something of a dent in the dragon population of this crater. I can already hear the difference. The prey animals, they're a lot less scared. Water's flowing. 
You got the water flowing. Only so we might access more of the crater. Yeah, but with the water flowing, the plants and animals will come back. I think we just healed this place. It was not my intention. For goodness sake, brother, just take the win. With the water flowing and new paths open to us, I say we go for a stroll. We will search, not stroll. Oh, come off it. You've never enjoyed nature for its own sake? Not just for the treasure you might find? I mean, treasure is nice too. You're hopeless, both of you. Looks like our good deed has already brought back some wildlife, but... Suppose I spoke too soon. Dragon's perched on that structure. Can we find a way up? Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi. That night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. If you go much further, we'll be right on top of the ogre. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah, I got that! No! Left 
was ours, you opportunistic sod. It went back to its perch. Let's go after it. I saw Durlin again, too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Couldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Lad, 
Am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, Thrud's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. They didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Is it you want? Are you a father? Yes. Then you must understand. My son, this toy, it was for him. But now he's gone. That day, so much chaos and death. I was panicked. 
looking for my son. Please, help reunite me with my son in Folkfanger. We're gonna help him, right? What is the last thing you saw, spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other. Separated like my sons. This toy. It will bring me back to him. This story is like many in this valley. Separated from someone they love by death. We gotta get him back to his son. Agreed. You do? Huh? I assumed you'd say something like, reuniting the dead is pointless. Not this time. This toy, it must be made whole again. Ah, a hunter lives here. A careless one. How's that? We found its home. Hmm. Think this is where the untamed fury lays her head. Maybe we should wait here. Ambush her. She will not return while we remain. She is too smart.
If we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that air dragon's lair. Yes. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. <laughs> I have to get past those vines somehow. Alka! Path's open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood? Yes, Father. Help us! 
not getting up anytime soon either I can hear the animals the relief maybe they'll come out of hiding and with that we've now taken down about half the dragons in this crater as well huh I can hear the birds they're rooting for us that's nice <laughs> 